Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for joining us on Friday, the memorial of St. Pius the 10th Pope. Our mass intention is for the deceased members of Our Lady of the Wayside. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My sisters, my brothers, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. My Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who to suffer guard the Catholic faith and to restore all things in Christ, filled Pope Saint Pius X with heavenly wisdom and apostolic fortitude, graciously grant that following his teaching, an example, we may gain an eternal prize. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The hand of the Lord came upon me and led me out in the spirit of the Lord and sent me in the center of the plain, which was now filled with bones. He made me walk among the bones in every direction so that I saw how many there were on the surface of the plain, how dry they were. He asked me, son of man, can these bones come to life? I answered, Lord God, you alone know that. Then he said to me, prophecy over these bones and say to them, dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord to these bones, see, I will bring spirit into you that you may come to life. I will put sinews in you make flesh grow over you, cover you with skin, and put spirit in you, so that you may come to life and know that I am the Lord. I prophesied as I had been told, and even as I was prophesying, I heard a noise. It was a rattling as the bones came together, bone joining bone. I saw the sinews and the flesh come upon them, and the skin covered them, but there was no spirit in them. Then the Lord said to me, Prophesy to the spirit, prophecy, son of man, and say to the spirit, Thus says the Lord God, From the four winds come, O spirit, and breathe into these slain that they may come to life. I prophesied as he told me, and the Spirit came into them, and they came alive and stood upright, a vast army. Then he said to me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. They have been saying, Our bones are dried up, our hope is lost, and we are cut off. Therefore, prophesy and say to them, Thus says the Lord God, O my people, I will open your graves and have you rise from them and bring you back to the land of Israel. Then you know, shall know that I am the Lord when I open your graves and have you rise from them. O my people, I will put my spirit in you that you may live and I will settle you upon your land. Thus you shall know that I am the Lord. I have promised, and I will do it, 
says the Lord. The word of the Lord. The response to the psalm is, give thanks to the Lord, his love is everlasting. Give thanks to the Lord, his love is everlasting. Let the redeemed of the Lord say, those whom he has redeemed from the hand of the foe and gathered from the lands from the east and west, from the north and south, give thanks to the Lord, his love is everlasting. They went astray in the desert wilderness. The way to an inhabited city they did not find. Hungry and thirsty, their life was wasting away within them. Give thanks to the Lord, his love is everlasting. They cried to the Lord in their distress. From their straits, he rescued them. And he led them by a direct way to reach an inhabited city. Give thanks to the Lord, his love is everlasting. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his mercy and his wondrous deeds to the children of men. Because he satisfied the longing soul and filled the hungry soul with good things. Give thanks to the Lord, his love is everlasting. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together, and one of them, a scholar of the law, tested him by asking, Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? He said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and the first commandment. The second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. The whole law and the prophets depend on these two commandments. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Are you all in with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind? In other words, with your whole being? What does this death of love look like? It's easy for this to become a lofty thought or just a sermon of words, but it's challenging to let this thought or sermon become a testimony of our actions. Do you love God with your whole being, with every part of who you are? But what does this exactly mean? Perhaps the depth of love will manifest itself in many ways. Here are a few examples of what this love might look like. Entrustment. Entrustment of our lives to God is a requirement of love. God is perfect, and therefore, loving him requires that we see his perfection, understand this perfection, and act in accord with it. When we see and understand who God is, the effect is that we must trust him completely and without reserve. God is all-powerful and all-loving, and all-powerful and loving, all-loving God must be trusted to an unlimited extent. Interior fire. Entrustment of ourselves will set our hearts on fire. This means that we see the Holy Spirit do amazing things within our souls. We see God acting and transforming us. It will be more than what we could ever do by ourselves. God will take charge and do great things in us, transforming our lives just as a blazing fire becomes all-consuming. Actions beyond our ability. The effect of a blazing fire of the Holy Spirit within us is that God will do great things in the lives of those around us through us. We will witness God at work and be amazed at what he does. We will witness firsthand his amazing power and transforming love, and it will happen through us. 
Reflect today upon your total love of God. Are you all in? Are you completely committed to serving our Lord in his holy will? Don't, his don't hesitate because it is well worth it. Let us turn to God, the source of light, and present our prayers to Him. That all members of the Church may be refreshed in faith by the same life-giving Spirit that emboldened Pope St. Pius X, whom we celebrate today, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who exercise authority in our world may be blessed with wisdom and compassion let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those suffering from depression, grief, or hopelessness may experience the healing power of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Holy Spirit may continue to transform every heart in this community to the fullness of love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died may experience the new life promised by Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the deceased members of Our Lady of the Wayside, for whom this Mass is especially being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the prayers and petitions in our Parish Book of Intentions, and for those we hold in the quiet of our hearts, Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, hear and answer the prayers we bring before you in this day. Who has this through Christ our Lord? Amen. Blessed our Lord God of our creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread. We offer fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed our Lord, Lord God of our creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine. We offer fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual dream. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive with kindness our oblations and grant, O Lord, we pray, that following the teachings of Pope St. Pius, we may celebrate these divine mysteries with sincere reverence and receive them in a spirit of faith through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for us on the festival of St. Pius Pope, you bid your church rejoice. So, to you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his wo words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayer. 
And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as with our end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts. Host. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in, in the, the highest. highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in, in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the fall, so that they may become for us the blood and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim Claim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the blood and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, you church spread throughout the world and bring her the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Blaise, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them in the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him, with him, in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honors yours for ever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against, against us, and lead us not into temptation, temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as away the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who say to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, peace with you. you. Peace, peace, with peace, you. peace with you. God bless you. Lamb, Lamb of, of God, God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. The 
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are thou, those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Prayer of Spiritual Communion as prayed by Pope Francis. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Lord, you know everything, you know that I love you. Let us pray. <clears throat> Celebrating the memorial of Pope St. Pius, we pray, O Lord our God, that by the power of his heavenly table we may be made constant in the faith and be of one according in your love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you offer us abundant new life and power to live as the sons and daughters of our Heavenly Father. Renew in me the gift of faith to accept and obey your life-giving word and cooperate with the transforming power of your Holy Spirit who changed us into your likeness. May your kingdom come and you will be done in my life today, tomorrow, and always. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks. be to God. <clears throat>